Our next presenter for public forum is Joe Rafici, uh, speaking on 5G. Welcome. Joe, Joe. Good morning. Good morning, Mayor Reese, councillors. My name is Joe Rafici, um, and um, I'm coming today with a matter of some urgency. Um, I have um, I have been in New Zealand for nearly 35 years, and I come from a place where the current state of that country today would have been considered inconceivable. Um, what we are witnessing today um, is also inconceivable. Um, my message today is about 5G, fifth generation wireless communication technology. I would ask you to, if you are not familiar with this issue, to approach it with an open mind and perhaps even more importantly with an intuitive heart about what is actually happening with this technology. 5G technology, 5G, fifth generation wireless technology is not a concrete term, even the spectrum is ill-defined but it is uh, totally different than what we have before. I have five minutes only. 2G to 4G is another discussion that hopefully we can have at another time. Um, 2G to 4G has also had very serious health impacts in the years um, since we've had wireless devices. Um, when the industry says there are no studies and no proof about this, it is a fallacy. There are over 10,000 studies increasing exponentially every year showing the deleterious health effects of wireless microwave radiation. We're not talking about computers, we're not talking about communication, we're not talking about any kind of Luddite retrogression to uh, uh, giving up the things we're used to. We're specifically talking about wireless and wireless involves microwaves. What is happening with 5G is happening simultaneously and internationally. This has been a seamlessly orchestrated rollout or deployment, as I prefer to call it, of a technology around the world. Laws have been changed, regulations have been changed over the last several years to facilitate a, a seamless and totally uh, stealth rollout of a technology that we should all be fully informed about and examining carefully. There are some principles involved with 5G before we even get into what it is. It is unavoidable. Unlike previous generations of wireless, you cannot turn this off. Once it is fully deployed, you cannot turn off your Wi-Fi modem at night. You cannot avoid it. These transmitters will be everywhere. I'll get to that in a second. In addition, there will be projected 50,000 new satellites of space junk in the stratosphere, beaming this down, as they call it, blanketing the entire Earth. So there's no choice, no avoidance, and there are millions of electro-hypersensitive people in the world who will not be able to avoid this augmentation of electrosmog. Furthermore, it is uninsurable. Like the nuclear industry, like genetic engineering, the insurance industry, which must have a firm grip on reality in order to survive as the professional risk assessors, refuse to insure against deleterious health effects of electromagnetic frequencies and that's every insurance company. Um, and we are asked to just accept this. So 5G is not how it has been presented and it is not what people automatically assume. It is not an incremental next step from 2G to 4G. It is an entirely new spectrum of waves. What, we're, what Vodafone and the other telecoms are saying they're rolling out and Vodafone December 10th, claiming they're rolling out in the major centers of New Zealand. These are spectrums uh, immediately next to what's currently being in use. Therefore, the existing cell towers can be used. Um, the 5G spectrum that corporations would like to get will be auctioned by the central government starting in 2020. 
These are called gigahertz frequencies uh, above 20 gigahertz. These are what are termed millimeter waves. The waves currently in use can travel long distances from cell phone towers. Uh, therefore, new infrastructure is not immediately to be deployed. Once the government auctions off these millimeter spectrum, these millimeter waves do not travel far. This entails thousands of new transmitters, small transmitters on lampposts. I'm sure some of you are aware of this. Uh, Spark has distributed information about how they will work with councils on the deployment of this uh, technology on city infrastructure. Anyway, every two to three houses there will be a transmitter. It will be on 24-7. These frequencies are identical to frequencies in airline airport security scanners. We will be exposed 24-7 in addition to the satellites blanketing rural areas. Um, I realize there's only two minutes left now, if that was the bell for that, and all I can do is give you the broadest overview. Um, okay. Yes, uh, okay, two things. I would urgently ask Council to uh, allow a full presentation of this material at some point. Um, a 30-minute presentation would probably be ideal. Uh, all of you have received yesterday in your inbox an invitation um, to an event that we're putting on. Uh, Professor Darius Lezinski is going to speak um, at the Souter Theater on the 29th of November. You've all been offered two free front row seats to hear an international expert uh, far beyond any qualification um, that our min of the advisors who have the ears of our ministers. This will be an opportunity for you to hear from a leading expert on the health effects of microwave radiation. Um, so check your inbox and you have until next Wednesday to, uh, to RSVP about that. Um, and that's pretty much all I can say in five minutes. Uh, for all the people around the country, and there's a burgeoning amount of groups now campaigning against 5G, around the country and around the world, for all those people's work, all those people's uh, service, and all those people's intention and determination, I would leave you with a few modified words from the Lord of the Rings. This shall not pass. Thank you.